Today I'm working on a larch. It has been in this training pot for a number of years now and I have been growing this for a specific purpose. There is a large group planting in the middle of which one tree is defective and it ruins the whole composition. And this tree is being grown with the intention of replacing that defective tree. I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. Um, there are these branches which are very low, so these I'm going to remove. This also is very low, so this is going to come off. There are too many branches very close together so those I'm going to remove as well so I create a bit more space between the branches. The lower branches have suffered as they haven't received as much sun so I'm going to shorten the branches at the top to allow the sun and the light to get through to the lower branches. We won't prune too much of the lower branches so just uh, shorten the branches at the top. These branches are sort of in pair, so one of them has to come off. And just continue working up. Again, this branch is, there's, in, there's two branches coming from the same point, so one comes off. And uh, just continue working my way up. Here also two branches coming from the same point. So this lower one is a thinner one that comes off. And uh, let's just work round. This is too close to the trunk. All this coming out from a primary branch, but it's too close to the trunk, so I'm going to remove this branch. And this is again a bit of dead branch here, so that comes off and shorten this branch here so it's small, smaller than this branch down here and same thing same process up here and also there's a T bar effect here so I'm going to retain this one and remove perhaps remove this one and retain hmm not sure for a minute so leave them for a minute and we'll come back i've heard some people say if in doubt cut it out but uh, with trees you can't put it back so uh, and we have a dead branch here again it's coming out of very close to another branch so we remove the dead and we retain this one and uh, it's very congested up here so I'm going to have to thin it out a bit. We now move to the apex and uh, cut short these branches. They've got very long at the top. And same thing with this one here. I'm going to remove this branch here, it's uh, quite thin and not much going on. Let's zoom out a little bit. But this branch I'm going to remove is quite thin and too many branches up here. So this one can come off. Right, and let's see. Now these branches are virtually coming out of the same spot, these two. So I'm going to remove this one here. Well, on this side we already have branches, so 
um, on this side we don't so I'm going to retain this one and remove this one here so I'll remove it go right up to the trunk right that's that done and uh, also thin this up, a, thin this out a little bit more. That's a bit better. And also remove the growth very, very close to the trunk. That's not good. Makes the tree look juvenile. So remove this as well. Here, there are two branches coming out from the same spot. So, and this top one looks a bit dead. So we'll remove that one. I'll clean up afterwards. I'll now have another look at the tree and see if anything else needs to be done, if there are any dead branches or two branches too close together. And I'll just give it a turn and see if there's anything else I can spot right now. This one here is uh, Bending downwards, so shorten that a bit. Bit of dead branch here. And uh, the sun's coming out. And it's coming straight into my eyes, so I may have to move slightly. And uh, take another look. It looks okay. I think up here perhaps there's another too many branches here so we'll remove this one so thin out the crown and also these um, growth at the straight out of the trunk we'll take that out also too close to the trunk, the apex will take that out and a little bit more tidying up to be done at the apex. We'll remove this and also this one here at the right at the top. Right, I think that's as far as I want to go today. And. Uh, we let it grow for another season before I put it in the uh, group plant, large group planting that I have. And uh, yeah, this is coming along quite nicely. And uh, it also has a nice uh, sort of nabari, tidy up the surface root area. There is a little bit of uh, moss on the trunk at the base where the surface root, uh, roots are. We'll just quickly clean it with uh, a toothbrush and uh, continue with the other side. There's a whole lot of roots, uh, knotted roots here, but I'm going to leave those as they are. Remove the surface weeds and just general tidy up. Just going to scrape, scrape them off. It's fairly dry, the pot. I haven't watered it today, so we're able to pull them out without too much difficulty. Let's use the cocoa brush to brush it all off unfortunately there are planes flying and I sometimes I forget so you will hear the planes and and I'm sorry for that top of the pot cleaned and tidied up and um, 
We'll take a quick look at the tree before I wrap this up. I think I've done as much tidying up as I can today. So that's all the work for today. And uh, it'll be left to grow until the next season. And that's when I hope to put it into the uh, group planting that I have in mind for this. Thanks for watching and to watch more, please subscribe. This is Iqbal Khan for Mick Bonsai in West London. Until the next time. Now for the afterthought. What do you call a nose with no body? Nobody knows. <laughs>